Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through five color graph, five color theorem. Guys, I did not find the exact theorem, guys. If I find, I'll be just dropping it in the comment section or I'll be adding that link into the description so that you can go through the algorithm, guys. And for our examination, I'll be sharing the answer in our group as fast as possible as I solve it, guys, as I find it. Okay, so for now, I'll be just giving you an introduction about what is this five color theorem all about. Okay, so the five color theorem from the name only you can say it is nothing but a five colors magical thing you can say. So it states that any simple planar graph can be colored just by using a five color graph guys. So basically why it is saying planar graph is that the planar graphs are really tough to design guys when compared with the normal graphs. So normal graphs you can cross a degree 5, 10, 100 also you can cross but planar graphs are really tough because there should be no crossing. That's the main magic in the planar graphs, right? So when considering only planar graphs, the algorithm or the theorem states that a minimum of five colors, sorry, a maximum of five colors is enough to color any kind of graph. So basically it states that five or less colors. So I took a small example here in which we, we needed only four colors, right? So in this way, it will be working. So if I found the proper algorithm for it, I'll be just sharing it with you guys. Don't worry, okay? Okay, so I hope everyone got some basic idea about the algorithm, right? So about the introduction of the five color theorem, like what is it, right? The statement, right? Yes. So in the next lecture, we'll be going through Euler directed graph. Okay, so let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.